All right, let's get right into it. Uh, the seasonal challenges for week nine here in Destiny 2. Uh, we're going to start right off right here with elemental, arg <laughs> elemental armaments. Defeat targets with different types of elemental weapons. You get bonus progress for defeating guardians and for defeating combat combatants and override and expunge. So it's very simple. You're going to go, you're going to need to get 200 arc, 200 solar, and 200 void or stasis kills each. Now you can hop into override, expunge, or the crucible for bonus progress, but if you're um, tired of those activities, then you can still get progress doing strikes, lost sectors, you name it. Uh, for me personally, I'm going to be running my Tiku's Divination and the Trinity Ghoul for solar and art kills, and then either the Deathbringer or Commemoration for void kills. I suppose I could also run the Layman Arc as well, you know, just to, you know, just for the fun. But if you want to go with stasis kills, I'd run with the uh, Cryosthesia, as it works faster than actually using the stasis subclass for getting kills. Um, this will synergize superbly with two of the other challenges for this week, Armory-wide Calibration and Elemental Splicing. You should be able to knock out Elemental Splicing in under an hour, you know, with a competent team. And for this, you earn times for extra large XP and 250, 250 decrypted data for the completion. All right, up next, Path of the Scribe. Scan the Elixni Scribe recordings in the Elixni quarter of the last city. This is one of the easiest challenges to complete this season. Simply go to the helm on the directory, then scroll over to the last city towards the lower left. Go to the main part of the Elixni village and find nine scannables. That's all you need is just nine. Um, feel free to listen to the lore to learn more about our current allies and how they view us. I'm sure a lot of you, however, have neglected to go to even go there, um, other than doing just the season, you know, seasonal cutscenes. Enough said. Um, you earn times two extra large XP and 150 decrypted data for the completion. All right, up next, Elixni Ally Three. Increase your reputation with the Splicer Servitor in the Helm. All right, for this. Simply go to the helm, then go to the splicer servitor, grab the bounties, complete them, and cast them in with the splicer servitor, and rank the splicer servitor up to reputation rank 30, and you're done. I mean, if you've been grabbing bounties this season, you should be done, or pretty close to being done by now. If not, then get grinding. Um, you earn times two extra large XP for the completion. Moving right along up next, armory-wide calibration. Calibrate primary, special, and heavy ammo weapons. Bonus progress against champions. So basically you have to get 200 kills or defeats um, with this. So this one's worded kind of funny to me. Um, so you need to get 200 heavy ammo final blows. Okay, and the other two say, you know, special ammo weapon and primary ammo, primary ammo weapon. So that leads me to believe that you just have to get defeats not necessarily kills okay defeats because we all know and have experienced Bungie being slick with their wording so if it's final blows with the primary and special then I will update in the description because this one has a lot of XP at stake and so you earn times eight extra large XP and bright dust for the completion okay last but not least elemental splicing complete strikes as each elemental subclass so simply, very simple. Well, this one is pretty straightforward as well. Hop into strikes with either an arc or void class. Solar and stasis are lumped together, so make sure you complete the strike. Stick around until the final screen pops up with the returning to orbit uh, timer just to make sure you get credit for completing the strike. Better to be safe than sorry. And as I stated earlier, this is going to synergize superbly with the elemental armaments and armory-wide calibration challenges. Uh, you earn times four extra large XP and bright dust along with the mantle of duty shader for the completion of this one. 